This is one of the tricky math dynamic programming questions that appears in Google interviews. So you are given an array of numbers which represents coins of different denominations. Now you're also given a value amount which represents the total amount of money. Return the number of combinations that can add up to this amount. Let's say we're given these coins and a total amount of 5. We have 4 possible combinations that add up to 5, so we can return 4. Let's go over the thought process. For each of the coin denomination, we have two choices. Now our first choice is to skip the current denomination and move on to the next one. The second choice is to include the elements in the combination and update the amount by the difference. We will find the total number of combinations from both choices. When amount reaches 0, we have found one valid combination. Let's implement the function coin change, taking in the amount and the coins, return the result of the helper method. Now let's implement the helper method, taking in the current index, the amount and the coins. If index is out of bound, return 1 if amount is equal to 0, else return 0. Find the number of combinations by skipping the current coin. If the coin is less than or equal to the amount, find the number of combinations by including the current coin, return combinations.